Hello everyone, this is Harrison from Harrison Watts Restoration. I'm having a little bit of a break away from the caliber to give one of my own some attention. So this is my own car, this is a Peugeot 306 HEI 2 litre, and we affectionately call him Pablo. I got it quite cheap, very good on mileage, and is one of them cars that I'm just not afraid to do anything with. Um, so I've done a few modifications, but at the minute, I'm getting a bit of a noise from under the bonnet. One of the pulleys, probably the tensioner, we're gonna look into that now, so join us for this. Okay everyone, so here's my little weapon of a car that I was talking about. So in a minute I'm going to turn it over and you'll hear that horrible noise that I was talking about, something you've probably all heard um, if you're driving your vehicles. And it's something that I'm going to show you an easy way to diagnose. So in a minute I'm going to turn it over so you can hear it, but one easy way to find out if it is what you think it is about and it's a suspected pulley is to actually take this belt off. So it can break up an engine management light if you do that because it won't be charging because the alternator runs off this belt but if you take it off the pulleys don't turn other than the crank pulley at the bottom it's most likely the crank pulley is not going to be the problem it's going to be an idle pulley or something like that if that is making a noise and the belt's not on it won't turn therefore it won't make a noise if your noise goes because you've taken the belt off you know it's going to be one of these pulleys what i'll do now is i turn it over and then i'm going to dead simply get some spray maintenance spray and i'm going to spray it at the back of the pulleys hopefully what you'll notice is I'll spray it on the top one which is the power steering pulley which I don't think is the problem and the noise won't really change but when I spray the idle pulley which is behind it hopefully you should hear that the noise, the noise either changes or goes away completely therefore you know it's that pulley so that's what I'm going to do I turn it over now forgive the mess of the car but here we go It's not very nice. You see the belt actually trying to work its way off. But if I get my spray, spray the back. See that's done nothing. That noise is still there. But if I can try and aim it down at the pulley, either pulley down there. Here the noise is changing. It's done a lot more rapidly. There you go, it almost went completely. So he's lubricating that up again. So it's definitely my idle pulley. Okay, so here we are. All I've done is I've taken the wheel off and I've taken this plastic cover off which sits there and it's just a couple of clips. Okay, so firstly I apologise for the unprofessionalism of this video and also that oil leak. But like I say, this is my car and I don't care. So, I've taken this cover off and what it's showing is that I have a dog attacking me now. Yes, hello. Okay, goodbye. You are the biggest and distraction in the world. Ain't ya? Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's the crank pulley. This pipe is in the way. But this is the bottom view from looking on the top. Now, the idler is, if I can show you, right where my fingers is. So it's a bit of a, that's it there. So that's the bolt. That bolt there I've got to take out and it's going to take that idler out with it. First thing I've got to do is I've got to release the tension and get this belt off. Managed to get the old one off. It was a bit more of a struggle than I'd have liked. I've had to take off the other idler pulley to get it out of the gap. There's not a lot of room up there at all. So that hole there, oh, that's where the other idler pulley was. And then that gap up there, that is where the tensioner was facing up. So, yeah, bit of a game. That's it, that's where the hole was. So, I had to take that idle pulley off to get the old tensioner to come out of this hole. All in all, it didn't take that long, but it was a bit of a struggle. And I'm going to have a right. Not am I getting this back in. What is important is that nipple there needs to locate in the hole, because that will determine where the pulley sits. I shall give it a go.
so, how much of that is sore? I've managed to take a chunk out of my fingernail. Anyway, the tension is on, and I've pulled the pin. So it has a pin in it, which keeps the tension off until you've put the belt on, and you pull the pin out, and the belt goes tight. But what I didn't realise, which I've only just found out as I've been doing this, is it seems like this has a double tension kind of system. So, that other pulley I said that I'd taken off to get the tensioner out, this one, is actually a double tensioner system. So it's got an offset bolt hole. So when you saw me install the belt, I actually had to spin it to make it fit. And then when it was on, I pulled the tension, and that's going to have found the tightest position. So it's important you don't actually tighten that up until you've got the tension on the belt. So now that the tension is on the belt, I can tighten that up now. It'd have been nice to know that beforehand, because I've taken a chunk out of my fingernail tightening that up the first time. However, I'm not bleeding, so I'm not hurting. First thing to note, there's no noise. I had a bit of smoke coming off, but that was basically from that oil burning off beforehand. So when I sprayed the oil to find out the original noise, well that's gone now. And the new tension is there running away. Not too bad. Not, not a bad job. You don't have a lot of space on these engines. This is the 2 litre HDI. So there we go, get back to driving it without every flipping pedestrian staring at me. Cool, so what I'm going to do now, the only thing's left to do, put that trim cover back on. It's a couple of dowels and then um, plastic trims, I should say. And then throw the wheel back on. Take it for a little run, make sure everything's right, make sure everything's charging. The job is good. In. And there you have it guys, in the end it was quite an easy job. That second tensioner I didn't know about, but we figured it out on the go and we managed to sort it. So now everything's working great and my car's back on the road.